Hey, what's going on guys? Goose here, man, and coming back at you, coming back at you with a video. And before I get started, man, if you're new to the channel, make sure you like, subscribe, ring the bell so you get notified when we go live again. Alright, man, so Tigers versus the Blazers this Saturday night in Baton Rouge. Late kickoff, 8 o'clock local kick. I'm surprised this game kicking off so late. Uh, but uh, Tigers 8-2, and two, UAB's 5-5. Five and five. Uh, LSU's favored by 14 and a half. I think that spread's a little bit low. Uh, I thought last week was low too, and it turned out to be uh, the right spread. But I think uh, just the circumstances in this game, the being the last home game of the year uh, for a bunch of these players, for 17 seniors, and who knows how many juniors are going to go pro. Uh, I think LSU will come up ready to play this uh, Saturday night, and I think they're going to win this game. I think they're going to win this game by well more than 20 points. Uh, I just think. Uh, I mean, they got they got a better roster than UAB. They do. They got a better roster. I know UAB's uh, UAB's had some tough close games, and if you look at the stats, the stats are comparable uh, with points per game, points per game allowed, no yards per game. But it, they play in a different conference. You put UAB in this conference and uh, put LSU's schedule. How many games they win? They beat. They probably beat. They probably beat Southern. They probably beat New Mexico. Uh, so it's probably the teams they beat. But uh, LSU LSU's gonna win this game. Uh, Hopefully, uh, hopefully we can get a running game going, like it has been going. Running game was good last week, especially in the second half. But we got, we got, we got, we still got to work on our passing game. Passing game is still, uh, at times, just uh, not on, you know, they're not on sync. You know, whether, whether it's uh, whether it's the quarterback uh, holding the ball too long or the blocking from the uh, from the offensive line. The blocking was was bad last week. The blocking was bad last week in the offensive line, and Jane Daniels holding the ball way too long. I think they were just. I think I think they're also were trying two uh, long routes, developing routes. I think they should try to more short, shorting pat, a short passing game last week, uh, especially with the, the way Arkansas was defending. But they didn't do that, and the offense really struggled last week. So hopefully this week they can get back on track like they did against uh, Florida, like they did get, like they did against uh, Ole Miss, Alabama. The passing game was, uh, you know, was passing game was really was performing well. So. Uh, so Tigers versus the Blazers this Saturday night, guys, and I uh, hope to see you guys then on the, then Saturday night because I will be doing that game. But uh, yeah, so we got uh, only only got two more games left in the regular season. Then the Tigers, will, of course, will go on and play Georgia in the SEC championship game. That's a different animal, uh, and LSU's faced all year long. But uh, so we got two more games to play. This one and then uh, Texas A&M. And then we then we can then we can really focus on Georgia and uh, talk about uh, what they have well let's just do to win that football game because that's gonna be that's, that's gonna be that'd be a very very tough game for LSU to win but it's not uh, not totally out of the realm of possibility that they win that game but a lot of things have to happen for them to uh, that to happen but we'll discuss that uh, after the A&M game after Thanksgiving weekend so have a good one guys I'll see you guys next time Tigers versus the Blazers look. I mean, I, th I think the Tigers. Uh, I think they're. I think they're, I think they're ready to, to roll in their last home game this Saturday night. Have a good one. Go Tigers.